when they're young, what Papa told us about the earrings, the left and right ear. Yeah. I remember John was picking around with Papa, just trying to get him riled up, and told him, said, Papa always said, I'm thinking about getting an earring. Papa said, Excuse me? Do what? No, you ain't. And John said, Well, no. He said, Papa, it's okay. He said, Because if you get it in your left ear, that means that you're straight. That's what they say. And they said, if you get it in your right ear, then that means you're gay. Amen. Y'all with me? That's what they say. Well, you know what Papa told John? He said, well, son, he said, if you got it in your left ear, that means you're just that far away from being queer. <laughs> That's what he told me. So you're just that far away from being queer. You know what? You know what? You know the reason why people say, well, in the Old Testament, in the Old Testament, they, they, they pierced their ears. It says they pierced. You know why it said they pierced their ears? And they gave men rings in their ears? It was a sign of bondage. Amen. Slavery. Amen. I ain't a slave no more. Amen. Amen. Jesus Christ set me free. Amen. So why would I want to put these things in my body that's symbolic of bondage when Jesus Christ doesn't set me free? Yeah, right. You know why people Amen. hold to these things? Because they don't read and study the Word of God. It's, it's in there in black and white and in the red ones too. Those are the words of Jesus. That's the important ones. Amen. They're all important. Amen. Let's not be the contemporary church. Amen. 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 People think when they when they meet me and I hear that I'm a preacher and I'm 32 years old, they automatically assume he's young. Preacher, he must be contemporary. No. King James only. Amen. 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 I like the old red song books. You say, preacher, some of them are green. They're the same ones as the red ones. Somebody must be colorblind when they printed those. I like them, amen. You know, preacher, we do it the old Jesus time way. Like three years older than you. That's right. Got it, one year older than me. I'm fixing to turn 33. 33 next month. Amen. Yo, yes, exactly right. Jesus preached that way. When he was in his 30s. Let's not be the contemporary church, amen. Let's do it the old time way, amen. Stick with the old stuff, amen. Stick with the King James Bible. Stick with what works. This is for the church, for the church to grow and lift up Jesus Christ. And we go out into the world and we share the gospel with them so they can get saved. And then we get them to come and get rooted in the church so that they can grow and go out and do the same. Amen. Let's not water it down so that we fill up seats in here. We give the truth and we stay consistent with doing it God's way. It'll grow. It'll fill up. Amen. Yes, stay consistent at it. That's right. That's right. We won't have 20,000 people in here that are lost and going to hell. We'll have a church full of people that saved them on their way to heaven and know that they're saved. Amen. Have no idea how many times I've gone and knocked on doors and somebody comes to the door and I ask them, I'll tell them, I said, my name's Mike Rode and I'm from Lord Mountain Baptist Church and we're just out in the area inviting folks to church. You go to church anywhere? And they'll tell me. They go to such and such church. And then I ask them, before I go, I said, can I ask you a question? If you were to die today, are you 100% sure you'd go to heaven? And they told me what church they went to. And the answer that I get a lot of times is, well, I hope so. Or I think so. I believe I will. Or I was baptized. They don't know. You know what that tells me? There's a lot of churches in this area that's full of lost people. Full of lost people. Let's do it the old time way. Now, am I getting up here to be mean towards those who are doing the contemporary way? No, I'm just trying to proclaim the truth. And praying to God that they hear the truth and turn from the error of their way, turn from their wicked ways, trust Christ and do it His way. Amen. Amen. Every head bowed, every eye closed. Nobody look around somewhere. Everyone standing to your feet. Every head bowed, every eye closed. Nobody look around. This altar is open here this, here this morning, here today. I like to encourage you. I know this. Say, preacher, you didn't preach on anything to help me. I got problems. Hey, I'm going to tell you, I did preach it. You want to help you? Doctrine. Rightly divided. Doing it God's way. Amen. Hey, you got things going on in your life, do it God's way. You got struggles and stuff going on in your life, do it God's way. Trust God, do it His way. Don't try man's way. Man's way will destroy you. Amen. Try it God's way. This altar's open. Why don't you come here this morning? Every head bowed, every eye closed, nobody looking around. I want to encourage you. If you're here this morning, you heard this message, you paid close attention to it, I want to encourage you. Why don't you come and pray for your church? Why don't you come and pray for Glory Bound Baptist Church for God to make sure that He keeps it the way He wants it. That we stick to doing it the old way. We stick with the stuff that works. Amen. We stick with the old stuff. Amen. And not depart from it. 
Guys, I'm reading and studying this and other things that I've been reading and studying up on and seeing the errors in the contemporary church. I came across stories of churches that were pastored by great men of God that preached the old time way, stood on the King James Bible. Think about a church that was pastored by J. Frank Norris. That church today that he started, that church today has departed from the King James Bible has departed from the old time way and is now a contemporary church that has rock concerts going on in the church, strobe lights and fog machines. If it were possible for J. Frank Norris to see what was going on in the church that he helped start, it'd make him sick. Folks, if the Lord should tarry, the Lord should tarry. I believe he's coming back. He's coming back at any time. But if the Lord were to choose to tarry, and I live to be 70, 80 years old and, and, and die and go on home to be with the Lord and this church is still here, I hope and pray it's still doing it the old time way. I don't want to see it depart from the old time way. Let's stick with what works. What works is this King James Bible. <laughs> there have been more souls saved under the preaching of the King James Bible than, any, uh, than all the other translations put together. It works. It's tried. And it's true. I'm going to stick with what works. Amen. That old saying, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. There ain't nothing wrong with this. There ain't nothing wrong with the old time way. So why fix it? Let's trust the old time way. I know a church. See, gas on you. Used to do it the old time way. Got away from doing the old time way started dabbling into the contemporary type services and stuff, that church no longer exists today. It's gone. It's a cry and shame. The old time way works. Our dear and gracious Heavenly Father, Lord God, we thank You. Thank You for all Your many blessings. Thank You, Lord, for Your Word. Thank You for the truth that we find in Your Word. Lord, I pray that You touch and You bless every person here today. God, I pray that You help us, Lord God, to spend time in Your Word, read it, study it, rightly divide it, apply it to our lives, God. Live for You. Help us, Lord God, to stick with what works. May we not compromise over Satan's lies, Lord. May we stick with the truth and proclaim the truth no matter what the world may think about us, Lord. Use us for Your honor and for Your glory. Thank You, Lord, for a pure Word of God. Thank You, Lord, for people who still want to stick with the old stuff. God, I just pray, Lord, that You just use us Bring honor and glory to you. God, I pray that you touch and you bless every person here today. God, help us this upcoming week. May someone cross our path that don't know you as Savior. And may we take that opportunity to share the gospel with them and see them get saved. Lord, before it's eternally too late, use this, Lord God, to bring honor and glory to you. Touch and bless every person here. Keep us safe as we travel home. Help us to make it back here safely at the next appointed time. In Jesus Christ's name, we do humbly pray. Amen. Amen. Amen.